Hello everybody, I am Plus Ultra, and I will be your guide to Stardew Valley 2. Now, for this video, we have something that has taken me quite some time. Uh, for quite a while I was working on this, getting every single one of the rainbow treasure pods from the first area, and I'm going to be showing you where every single one of them is today. Now, there are 14 here. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly what's in all of them. But at least you'll be able to get all of them doing this. And I've also made a quick picture guide that will show you everything you need to know as well, which I will put up right now. With this picture guide that you have up, it should be pretty easy to be able to find all of them. But if you can't, I will be using this video as a way to show you where all of them are. So, on this picture, there are three different colors red are caves and the tail of the red circle is where the caves start at yellow are places that will probably require some jet packing or some advanced parkour movement and green are places where you can just walk there and get them for free so we're gonna start i'm probably gonna do this just no editing we're just gonna send it and go so to start Let's go to the place where you unlock the second transporter of the sandy area. There are two of them right here, one of them being in a cave, and the other one being out in the open. The only reason I'm doing this no editing is just so you can follow my steps and um, get just get all of them in one take, just like this. Uh, it is possible you have a few of them. I mean, some of them are very easy to find. Some of them are a lot more hidden than others. So you want to go past all of these violent and mean slimes and come down this hill right here. Jump across this. And then jump across this. This is where you're going to find the first treasure pod, right here. This one does not require a jetpack, however a jetpack will make it easier. If you follow the cave out, next we're going to need to get onto this pillar up here. You can jump from it right here, or if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can walk, out, uh, walk back up out and jump from over there. However, if you jump around to the back, this is where you're going to find the second treasure pod. So, now we're going to run over to the next one that's in a cave, which is right over here. You will need one tab before to open this door, and after you open it, the treasure pond will be sitting right here on the shelf. After that, you can walk back out. And we can come around here. Just making sure I'm in the right area. Oh, I passed it. So once you come through here, take a left instead of my right. And once you drop down, there will be a very large boulder right here. It kind of makes a circle that just points you right to the treasure pod. Now, if you turn directly around, jump across here. Follow this circle all the way back. You will get to another green one that requires no jetpack. However, if you then jump up to the shelf right here with your jetpack and then keep walking back past the teleporter, jump up on this rock and then jump up right here, you'll find the next treasure pod. Then from here, jump up right here. And to over here, because we're going to need to be up on these rocks for the next one. So, 
you look where I am right now, it's right here, and we are just going directly across to over there. Because on the Evil Bunny Island, there is a treasure pod hidden right here. This is where it is on the map. And now we're going to move down to the stone tower right here, where there are two treasure pods. Right over there. The first one, you may be able to get without using your jetpack. I'm not sure. I actually haven't tested it. I just know you need your jetpack for the second one. Yeah, you can definitely get this one without a jetpack. So that one is incorrect. This one should be a green circle. This is at the base of the tower right here. For this next one, you're going to have to climb decently high up this tower using the shelves and the trees that are around. So if you just keep circling it for a while, you will come across the treasure pod. Which is right here. It's almost directly above the one down here. It's just up here on the shelf, so it's going to require a little bit more to get to. And now from here, if you look directly at the uh, little deposit statue over here, and then go to the cave to the left, there will be another one. Oh wait, did I confuse myself? Oh, I did. I went into the wrong cave. Sorry, the cave entrance is down here on the beach. They're just too very close and I had it marked wrong on my map. However, this is where the next treasure pod is. And there is an easier exit out this way. Which is what I should have had marked. Right here. On the edge of the beach. So, if we continue down. To this sandy area. You'll find one treasure pod. Near the back of the portal. So, what you want to do is drop down right here, directly behind the portal, and you'll have another treasure pod. If you don't have the jetpack to do that part, you can just go around to the left, by the way. This is just another exit. So we can go around the patch of ocean right here, get to this green thing, and then drop down. Turn around, and come right down here, and there should be a cave with another treasure pot in it. Turn back around, and come back to where you just dropped down, and jump up onto these rocks over here. Sorry, over here. And there will be another treasure pod. Hidden in these bushes over here. And now finally, for treasure pod 14, which is just probably the easiest one, once again, go to the portal and it'll be behind it. So we come over here and we drop down, walk around this little circle right here, and there it is. So, with that, that is every single rainbow treasure pod location in the rainbow fields. Uh, I do plan on making videos for this one and this island. However, on this one, at the time of this recording, I'm only at 21 out of 24. And this one I haven't even started on. But as soon as I finish those, I can guarantee you I will start making the videos and the picture guides for them. However, if this guide helped you, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe as it will help my channel grow immensely and help me grow in this community. If you have any other questions for things in this game, I'm getting closer and closer to 100%ing it and I would love to answer your questions in the comments. But for now, I've been Plus Ultra. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.